As we progress as a civilization, we are constantly moving up the Kardashev scale, which measures a civilization's technological advancements based on the amount of energy they can harness from their surroundings. Currently, we are considered a Type 0 civilization, meaning we can only harness energy from the Earth. However, as we expand our knowledge and capabilities, we may one day become a Type 7 civilization, the highest level on the scale. If we were to become a Type 7 civilization, we would have the ability to harness energy from entire galaxies. We would be able to manipulate the fabric of space-time and travel faster than the speed of light. We would have the capability to create and manipulate entire universes. However, with great power comes great responsibility. As we saw in earlier stages of our civilization, the more power we have, the more destructive our actions can be. We have already seen the devastating effects of climate change and nuclear weapons, but with the capabilities of a Type 7 civilization, our mistakes could be catastrophic on a universal level. One major challenge we would face is the ethical implications of playing God. How would we navigate the balance between using our power for the greater good and potentially playing favorites with certain planets or species? The scope of our decisions would extend far beyond the limitations of our current understanding of morality. On the other hand, becoming a Type 7 civilization could potentially solve some of the biggest mysteries and problems we currently face. We may be able to find a way to reverse the effects of climate change or even eliminate diseases and illnesses that have plagued humanity for centuries. Overall, the potential for a Type 7 civilization is both exciting and daunting. While we have yet to even reach Type 1 status, the thought of unlocking the secrets of the universe and wielding such immense power is truly mind-blowing. But it's important that we remain cautious and respond. Hey guys, I came here in the middle of the video asking you to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, because there is a lot of special content every day. Keep watching. As we move towards becoming a Type 7 civilization, we must also consider our place in the universe. We currently believe that we are the only intelligent beings in the cosmos, but as we continue to explore and expand our knowledge, we may discover that there are other intelligent beings out there. This could be both exciting and terrifying, as we would have to adjust our understanding of our place in the universe, but what if we discover that we are, in fact, not alone? How would we interact with other species? Would we try to dominate them or learn from them? These questions are important to consider as we move closer to becoming a Type 7 civilization. Another important factor to consider is the implications of immortality. With our increasing technological advancements, some have speculated that we may one day find a way to achieve immortality. However, this could raise ethical and moral issues, as it could lead to overpopulation and inequality. Furthermore, as we unlock the secrets of the universe and manipulate the fabric of space-time, we must also consider the impact that our actions may have on the universe as a whole. We may discover that our actions could have long-lasting and irreversible effects on the universe, and it is our responsibility to ensure that we do not act recklessly. In conclusion, the idea of becoming a Type 7 civilization is both exhilarating and intimidating. It is important that we continue to push the boundaries of technology and explore the universe. But we must remain cautious and responsible, considering the ethical and moral implications of our actions. As we move closer to becoming a Type 7 civilization, we must remember that our actions may have consequences that extend far beyond the limits of our current understanding.